like I got into music through skate videos and then I wanted to dress like Jim Greco and shit <laughs> and then like I wanted to be in a band eventually because they, they were like rock stars on skateboards and then um, yeah like through like discovering like like awesome skate parts I'd get into like the bands that were like used in the video and then you know I started seeing kids in high school that like played in bands and I, just, I got curious like because it's like you know like fuck I'm not original man like I just maybe I'll make something original sometimes but yeah like mo most of the time I'm, I'm like a trendy motherfucker like you know I'm making like what I think is cool and you know I follow music and, 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 I'm not trying to interview, but just make it good time. I had nowhere to like stay, and then my old friend hit me up and said like that there's a room open where she's staying, and here we are. <laughs> You know that song, Chamber of Reflection? This is the synth that was in there. Oops. I usually just like record it one and I just loop it. For real, man, the Filipino love here is also pretty strong. Because back home, it's more political and I'm. Um, like, people don't show love. I don't know. You see black power, black excellence, all the Latinos getting together. And I'm just like, damn, dude, like, why can't me and the homies do all that? Because back home, we got a scene, you know, like, and it's very diverse. There's even, like, half black, half Filipino, a bunch of half breeds. Just, it's all mixed up. And, um, but yeah, there's not really, like, a unified. There's no like squad vibes. Now they're, there's like, they're, they're starting to form that, but it still seems like everybody's against each other. Some of them are just boring, like, you know, like, you'll make something and then in, like, one week you hate it. 
so like you gotta like let it pass the test of time. I mean, this might be whack to me in like a day, but I don't know. I'm feeling it. Anyway. Sometimes if I'm like around a drum set, of course I'll record. But like I can just make it work with like drum machines. And then live it like always sounds the same. Instead of like when you play gigs with real drums, like you like have to adjust to the venue. Right, right. Cause some venues will make your drums sound like stadium drums or some sh you know, like something you don't want. Yeah. And then with like drum machines it's always the same sound. When I play live, I just play off my laptop, like, I like, you know, I record all the music that I'm gonna play live. Yeah. And then, you know, it, it just go, it bumps on the sound system, which is kind of like, which is kind of better for me, because like, it sounds just like the song. I'm not anti-band, but like, you know, I figured out how to make it work, like, with or without, because like, you know, the, like, I always want to make music, so. You know, it's like, with or without somebody, I'm not gonna wait on them, I'm gonna do it. You know, like, but now, like, you know, rappers, like, just rap over their own songs, so, like, why can't, like, guys who play in bands, like, just play over their own shit and be like, I made this shit anyway, so it's not like I'm cheating, like, and then if I, I do have a band, we can play it live, it just, there's no, like, money for my project like that, like, and like, maybe once, like, people, like, pay me enough. I could have a band and split like the money evenly. I used to play without like without guitars, and I was like, man, this is boring. Cause I had to compensate by like running around everywhere and be like, ah. <laughs> like up to once you go up here, like the strings are kind of farther from the fretboard, mm -hmm. but like here it's fine. It's my shoegaze song. <laughs> You just need like a bunch of distortion. It sounds like shit now. Yep, so out of tune. This is the mood all year. Like I like I made a song with King Cruel, but I met him in London. We were signed to the same label. Like I was like with an imprint on XL. It's called Abino. And um, you know, it's all in the same building. So, yeah, like, one day, Rat King, if you guys fuck with them, they're like a New York rap group that broke up. But yeah, they pulled up, and um, I was in the studio that day, and then King Cool pulls up, and then we go to his house and Blaze and, like, listen to, like, his, like, album Now The Ooze, like, he showed me one song called Dumb Surfer from it. And yeah, that, that's on that album. He's asking me, he's like, will you recite my poem in Tagalog? I was like, man, I don't even know how to say all that. So I had to ask like one of my homegirls who like spoke fluently. I was like, did I, like, is this correct? Like, you know, like, I needed help. Like, she basically did it all for me. <laughs> and I just read it. All I had to make sure was like I pronounced everything properly. Because she didn't want me to like sound too like Americanized or whatever.